Hello, fellow traders. Nutty Bar Trading coming to you on a Thursday. Uh, it is May 25th, and it's about 2.41 p.m. I'm ending my stream a little bit early today. I have some errands I need to run. Uh, that will take me away for about an hour, hour and a half. So, uh, yeah, calling it short a little bit today, but um, had a good day. Um, obviously, like I always say, there was things I could have done better. Uh, things to learn from, but overall I was pleased and I was happy with how the day went. Um, if you're new here, uh, yeah, I started this uh, channel to basically journal my trading journey. Um, it's very important to me that I'm fully transparent. And yeah, if you enjoy that, follow along, subscribe, like, uh, you know the drill. Um, right now I am trading 19 uh, Apex funded accounts. I actually have, I'll have 20 funded accounts, uh, by tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just journaling my journey of trading those 19 funded accounts. I trade all of them at once using the copy trader and yeah, I show my profit loss at the end of every day. I'll show that in a little bit here. Um, but again, fully being fully transparent is very important to me. So if that's something you value, uh, follow along. I would appreciate it. And also just want to do a shout out today during the stream, we have reached 500 subscribers. I'm just in awe. I'm shocked or yeah, it's awesome. I never dreamed I'd get to 500 subscribers, um, let alone this fast. Six weeks ago, I uploaded and you know, I went live for the first time and now we're at 500 subscribers. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So thank you. Just a sincere thank you to everyone that's subscribed and followed along. Everyone's been great and encouraging. And I really enjoy streaming, hanging out with everyone, makes the day go faster. And it really actually helps. It helps my trading. Um, helps me be more patient. Helps me... Uh, make sure I think through my trades and I have a plan when I'm entering in my trades. So really has helped. So anyway, enough rambling. Let's just get into how the day went. Um, so let's scroll back here. Took my first trade this morning at 10 to 50. And this was the trade where I can learn from. Uh, <laughs> I entered right here after we broke out here. Uh, we moved above VWAP, and then we pulled back. And I, I love these pullback entries. And I entered right here on this pullback and looking for us to make new highs. And we, it looked like we are going to try and push right away, but then we pulled back. And I had my stop below VWAP here. Um, <clears throat> and we started chopping back and forth. I went from being in profit and then I was in the red and then I was in profit and then I was in the red again and finally here we it appeared on this candle it's kind of hard to see but it appeared on this candle like okay we're gonna break out and it immediately sold off and my patience had worn out and I got out of the trade at break even I basically panicked and I was basically like okay I'm out I've had enough of this and I'm out. And again, it's that just, yeah, that is something that I'm trying to work on is my patience when I'm in a trade. And that kind of correlates with my kind of fear of losing mentality as well that I'm trying to overcome and push through. So definitely uh, could have improved in that trade. As you can obviously see, we made a nice move afterwards, could have captured a nice a nice trade, but we didn't. Uh, then we moved on, and it's a little bit difficult, actually. I can't really show you my entry here. Kind of a uh, glitch happened, and I was... So right here, when we failed to make new lows, um, we pulled back here, and we failed to make new lows. Um, I was trying to get... I was trying to enter on a long. Now... To understand this, I use the trade copier, and on my parent account, 
I am trading the regular ES mini contracts on my follower accounts, which is being copied across all 19 accounts. Those accounts are trading the micro ES. Okay. So it copies the order to the micro uh, ES contracts. And I was trying to get long right here. And I, the price I thought went without me, like it went right down to it, but it didn't fill me. I thought I didn't get filled. And then the price went without me and I'm like, okay, fine. I got out. I just canceled that order that still looked like it hadn't been filled. And I was like, okay, fine. If it's going to go without me, I'm not going to chase it. And I let it go. I was busy with my work and I was doing other things in my work. And I look at chat and someone in chat was like, why is my profit and loss fluctuating? And they were calling out like, hey, you're in a trade. <laughs> and when they called it out, the, the, the move was up here. And I look at my profit and loss here, which you would think, you know, that I would see that, but I didn't. And sure enough, I was in a trade. So what appeared like I wasn't filled, it actually filled all the micro contracts, which is all my PA accounts. And yeah, I made a nice move and took a nice, took nice profit there. And I was happy. So the one time I can remember when I was accidentally in a trade and instead of actually losing money, I actually made money. So I will take it. Um, moving on. Then we uh, made new highs here. And we were consolidating, consolidating. There was a lot of liquidity sitting up here at 41.65. So I entered long right here. Now, in hindsight, again, this is so easy to, you know, say, but I did take my, I just put my stop right here at the top, thinking that we're going to struggle to push through this. And as you can see, we obviously did not struggle. We ripped through it. Um, so I left quite a bit of money on the table on this trade. So like I say, it's always easy to look back in hindsight, but I still caught a nice move, a nice portion of it. And a win is a win. Uh, but yeah, I on this trade as well, I only entered with one micro contract. And in hindsight, that's what I really regret is that I didn't, I had my ATM to one. I wish I had two contracts because it would have allowed me to take profit on one and it would have allowed me to have a really nice runner on the other contract. So, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. I'm happy with how the day went. We ended the day with uh, about $48 in profit per account. Um, let's just pull up our, Oh, don't tell me. All right, I need to make sure this is, why did I, I forgot, I have all my dates wrong. Try and always do this, make sure all my dates and everything is right before I go live. And this is all just one continuous live stream, so just bear with me a little bit. It takes a while to generate this lengthy report man sometimes i forget how to do this all right here we go um date i don't have the right date okay so we move to thursday and we generate and yeah you can see if you're new here uh, we started trading these funded accounts all linked together. Obviously, we have struggled a little bit. <laughs> Full disclosure, we have had, we started off on a pretty bad note. Uh, but we're slowly getting it back. Steady, slow and steady wins the race is my, is my plan. So, but yeah, today, end the day with $919 in profit. Uh yeah, I really like this momentum that we're getting. We have four days in a row now of profit. So hopefully we can continue this and uh, continue it tomorrow and have another good trading day tomorrow. So 
that does it for this summary. Again, this is summary report for day number 22, I believe. Uh, so yeah, thanks for checking in again. Again, thanks for everyone's support. And I hope to see you in the live stream tomorrow morning. Take care.